This is the National Geographic Volcano Kit, and the maker claims this cool science project is fun to do and educational at the same time. Each kit comes with one bag of plaster, one bag of eruption powder A and eruption powder B, one volcano mold, one wooden stir stick, one paintbrush, three colors of paint, two pieces of real volcano, and one learning guide with all the instructions. All this for $12.99 at Boscos in Scranton. But does it really work? To find out, we've traveled to Riverside Elementary West, to Mrs. Laubach's second grade class, with STEM students along with STEM teacher, Mrs. Susco. These students are really excited to build a volcano. Now, we dropped off the kit yesterday so the teachers could check it out, and we're glad we did because once you make the mold of the volcano, you have to let it completely dry, and that can take up to 24 hours. Or you can put it in the oven at 200 degrees for a few hours. Mrs. Susco made the preparations. Here's a video of her and her son getting the volcanoes ready. We appreciate the extra effort. Back to the STEM students in class now. We split the students up into four groups, and each student will get a chance to make the volcano erupt. Now, to bring the volcano to life, we must mix eruption powder A with powder B. Pour that into the volcano, and then simply add water. The kids love it. Each student was able to take turns making the volcano erupt. It's simple and pretty cool, but what do our teachers think? Building it was about six to seven minutes, I'd say, and then it has to dry for 24 hours. But then once you start the experiment, it took only a few minutes. That's great. No complicated directions. And watching the students interact with this kit was really neat. Even my kids at home would like it. I have a nine-year-old, and he's really into science experiments. And I think that this age, yep. um, it's really interesting for them. And they love science. They love STEM. So yep. this is fun for them. There you go. Want to do a fun science project with your kids and not spend a lot of money? We recommend this kit. So do the students and staff at Riverside Elementary. Two thumbs up.